Hey guys, it's me, a little sir fetched, and welcome back to the Pokemon Storm Silver post game Nuzlocke. I did some training in between episodes, just like I've done basically every episode in this series. But yeah, let's talk about the training that I did. So, everyone's level 80, as you can see. And let's go over our team. We have Stevana, the Roselia at level 80 with the move with the natural cure ability in the moves Petal Dance, Cut, Synthesis, and Sleep Powder. We have one of our MVPs, Riley, the Lucario at level 80, with the steadfast ability and the moves Dragon Pulse, Blaze Kick, Close Combat, and Extreme Speed. Next we have our true MVP, Luke, the Frost Form Rotom at level 80, with the Levitate ability and the moves Discharge, Shadow Ball, Uproar, and Blizzard. Next, we have the one that can't die or else our team dies. Lugaya, the Lugia at level 80, with the pressure ability and the moves Surf, Waterfall, Aeroblast, and Aerial Ace. Next, we have Brock 2.0, the Crobat, at level 80, with the Inner Focus ability and the moves Dark Pulse, Hypnosis, Excisor, and Fly. And finally, the Pokemon that we caught, I'm pretty sure, last time, that replaced... The one that died an episode ago. No, we caught this one, not last time, but before last time. Mr. King 2.0, the Nidorino. With the, at level 80, with the rivalry ability and the moves Horn Drill, Toxic Spikes, Super Fang, and Poison Jab. Now, it's not our team complete just yet. And you want to know why? Because we've got a few items to use. So first off... Moonstone. Mr. King is evolving? Oh yeah. It's Mr. King 2.0, the Nitto King. Congratulations, Mr. King. Oh, and what's that? A shiny stone? I got this in Blackthorn, because you can buy them in Blackthorn. Wait, Stevana is also evolving. And we got a Rose Raid. I remember what I said last time that I needed a good grass type to take on the gym? Because I know that Misty's going to have a ground and water type. Well, there's the grass type. And that's it for the evolutions. Now we have to surf over this way because we have to get to the power plant. And do I have repels? Hold on, if I don't have repels... Yeah, because I don't want to get encounters here. Wait, do I have just like a regular repel? No. Yeah, I just... I don't want to get encounters in the water where the grass area is. Because remember... My encounter is wherever I get it at. So, if I would have gotten it in the water... We wouldn't have been able to get anything here if the encounter wasn't something that I already had. If it was something I already had, then I still could have gotten an encounter here. But yeah, let's just run around really quickly and get our steps so we can go get an encounter here before we start the thief story arc. That lasts, like, ten minutes. But I guess it's better than... Not existing? What's our encounter today? No. We caught you last time. Wait, wasn't it last time that we caught this thing? Also, Stefano, why are you out? Shouldn't we have Brock out? Brock, if you don't know, is our... Brock 2.0... Brock 2.0 is our... Basically, Pokemon that helps us catch things. Okay! Well, funny thing, I did... Last time, I stayed in the box a little bit. So I can check, um... A more modern check to see what Pokemon I do have and what I don't have. Funny thing is, since that's the newest video I've recorded, other than this one, I didn't upload it 
to YouTube yet, so I can't check. So we're going to assume that I don't have this thing. But, you know, he'll never replace the amazingness that is our Rotom. No one could ever replace his amazingness. We're going to catch this thing just for the duplication, the dupes clause. Dang it. How did it already wake up? What the heck? Quit being awake. You're not going to do anything. You're like... Oh, uh, you're over 30 levels underneath my Pokemon. There's like, you're not doing anything. You might do a little bit, but not enough to hurt. Can we just leave this battle? I'm still faster than it, and I'm paralyzed. Okay, now I'm a tiny bit worried that he's doing some damage. We want to make sure that we're not gonna die here. Because as much as Brock is mostly just a Pokemon to help catch other Pokemon, I don't want to have to train up another Pokemon to level 80. Or even remotely close to that, I don't want to do. Like, it takes at least an hour-ish, at the most, to do so. And I wanted to film a video last night, because I usually film the videos at night. I wanted to film this, I'm filming during the day. I wanted to film last night, but no... I didn't get the training in. I still had to train up some Pokemon, so... Yeah, I don't like training up Pokemon that much. I mean, I guess it's fun sometimes, but, like, when there's stuff I want to do, it's not fun at all. There we go. This up has been transferred to the dead box. I forgot. Some of our Pokemon are, like, hitting into the dead box. Oh, I just saw a wild hound doom. I was trying to catch it when I noticed that I was all out of Pokeballs. So don't check your items. You might run out at the worst time. Okay, man. That's pretty cool. Let's go. Hello, sir. Is there a problem today? At the place? I I'm ready to blast something. Who would dare steal apart from the generator? I spend so much time fixing it. If I catch him, he's going to see what I can do with my charge beam. Oh, okay. So he's a little scary. Oh, uh, to get in the call. I just got word from Cerulean. It appears that a shady character has been loitering around. Could I ask you for your cooperation? The shady character is hanging around the Cerulean gym. Oh, wait, yeah, I'm in a building, I can't fly. Hold on. You can't fly in a building. It's impossible. So we got our encounter here, which means we can never come back here. Except for once, because we do have to complete the mission. And then we have to do it, like, two times. You know what sucks? We have to go out of our way, like, three times in this episode to get to an area. Because you gotta go to the gym... You gotta go to that area to activate the thief mission. You then, after you activate the thief mission and you get the part back, you have to go back to that area to give the part back. And then you have to go up to the north northeast just to activate Misty so she'll be in the gym. Oops, I'm so sorry. You're not hurt, okay? I'm very busy. No time for talking with you. Not good for me if seen by somebody. Oh no, you see me already? I make big mistake. Hey you, forget you see me, okay? You seen, heard, know nothing, okay? Bye! Bye bye a go go. Get back here, sir. Or 
person, not really sir, I don't know why I should ever be calling you sir, because you're, why am I running down? Because you're a Team Rocket grunt. You're not to be respected. I think he's on the bridge and he's gonna hide in between these two lovebirds. Oh no! I found you out! Oh no, hiding I was, but you did me found in no time. The only one from another country. That's yeah, no big business, okay? Think I did if stop the energy would be big panic and unlucky for your people. That made no sense. Whatsoever. Secret, it is my mission, so I tell you not. So I t so tell you I not. But if when you do versus me, a man I be in mind secrets to you tell, you understand? Begin battle we do. Who are we fighting? It's a wait a second. You can't just use Grobat against Grobat. What is this, a battle? I swear, if he has fly. Okay, ha, he's got air slash. Ha, I win! Probably not, actually. It's probably gonna take two hits. I called it! It's like the slightest bit that it needed for two hits. I called it. Well, he's dead now. Yay, I'm the best. And there's nothing you can say otherwise, because I'm the best. I no no no, very strong you much you must be wait, I didn't get to read like fifty percent of that. Okay, tell you mine secrets will I. Machine parts steal by me, hide it I did in Jim of the Cerulean. You're inflatable too, put it I did. Look for Jim at But you forget me not. Beat you for sure, will Team Rocket. Come from Jodo, will they? Mine allies, yes, will revenge they are. I'm so confused. You don't speak English, man. You say what? Team Rocket, bye bye, a go go? Broken up it is, you says you? Oh no, should I do what now on from me? What does that mean? Okay, I am my country, go home. Make Team Rocket, I will. Goodbye, so long. Man, I'm sorry, but your grammar is not good. I get it, you come from a different country, but I couldn't understand like 50% of that. I'm pretty sure 50% of that wasn't even understandable in a different country. So can I actually go here? Yet? Or because I haven't grabbed the part, I probably can't come here. I can! Hello, Misty. Just scared off that guy. Ah, why'd you have to show? Why'd you have to show up and bug us now? Do you know what they call people like you? Pests. You heard me right, pests. Oh, those gym badges you have. Are they Jodo gym badges? If you have eight. You must be good. Okay then, come to Cerulean Gym. I'll be happy to take you on. I'm Misty, the gym leader in Cerulean. I do like her updated style from the originals to this. She looks pretty amazing. Looks pretty fly, even though that is a terrible term because it's like a term that your father would use to try to be hip with you. But really, it's just not a good term. Wait. Shoot, I screwed up. I screwed up. Now I have to fight the gym trainers here. If I want to go get the item. Let me know. Oh, what do I do? I screwed up. What have I done? I've messed up. I blame everyone that isn't me. I didn't think that trainers would be blocking my path. 
I knew I'd have to fight the trainers, but I didn't think they'd be, like, blocking my path. How'd I do more damage to that Crobat than I did a Zoomeril? And that thing was a lower level. Well, I think it was a higher level. Dead. No, I can kill the next three Pokemon, because I'm pretty sure you have four Pokemon in it. What's your th second Pokemon? Octillery? Well, I'm going to switch to Luke because he's the best at everything that has to do with electricity. He's one of the two Pokemon that's going to help us today. Goodbye. That's death for you. Yeah, he's dead. That wasn't even that wasn't even close. Next up is Polyrap. Ooh. I got an even better idea. It's the Pokemon that can't die or else our team dies. Pretty sure Lugia has like the most help on our team. That's just because legendaries have such good stats. I mean, they are legendary for a reason. They aren't legendary because there's only one in each game. But technically, that is why, but... They're also legendary because they have the most stats of any Pokemon. So, yeah. But it's mostly because there's one of them each per game. You can't really find two Groudons in the same copy of Ruby and S uh, Ruby. But you know what you can find? You can find both Ruby. You can find both Groudon, and I'm pretty sure I don't. I don't know. I've never played the original Ruby and Sapphire, except for the Farfetch'd. Well, no, I did Emerald. <laughs> So, I've never played the original Ruby and Sapphire. Oh, man. No, please. Please, no. No, please, no. Uh, go away. I just want the item. I picked up the black item that was by the pool. Thank you very much. How do I get out of here? What have I done? This was a bad idea. Excuse me. Stop, 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 stop. How is she not? How did she not find me out? She didn't find me out. I was so confused. I was standing right in front of her. I don't understand trainers sometimes in this game. I was literally standing right in front of her. I was like, maybe two uh, blocks? I don't know what you would call each, like, step. I guess two steps, but we were in the water, so it feels weird to call them steps. But I was, like, two steps away, and she just just like, Ah, I don't see anyone. What are you talking about? There's no one there. You know what really does suck, though, is that I have to walk all the way over here. Because... You can't fly to a place that doesn't have the Pokeball symbol on the map. And even though there's a Pokemon Center over here, I can't fly over here because there's no Pokeball symbol on the map. Chinchow! I was just playing the new Pokemon Snap earlier today, and I found Chinchow and Lantern where they spawn. It was adorable. It was an area that I didn't even know existed, and I just accidentally discovered it. Well, I kind of knew there was an area through there, because I saw Claw Itzar, I think is what the Pokemon was, launching like a jet of air toward these rocks, but it didn't destroy it the first time, but the second time it did? So I unlocked a secret path. And I found a whole new area that had Chin Chow and stuff. Oh, yeah, that thing you have. 
Is that the machine part that was stolen from my beloved generator? You found it? Thank you so much. All I have to do is attach this part here. And the screen goes black! I think he just turned off the lights and turned them back on. Rrrr. Yes, it's running. Whirr, whirr. Ha ha ha! Thanks. Here, go ahead and take this TM as a reward. I don't want your stupid charge beam. It will shoot beams. It can also sometimes raise special attack. Hmm, you should take this, but it's a rare artifact. What the... What's the red chain do? Isn't that for, like, the lake guardians or something? Uh, the mythical chain said to be linked to the Sinnoh region and its legendary Pokemon. That's pretty cool. I can get a Sinnoh legendary? That's, like, amazing. I don't know where. Uh, but according to that, I can apparently get one. I have never knew that there is a red chain in these games. I didn't even know you could even get the red chain, because I don't think you're able to acquire it in the Sinnoh games. Because you don't need it. I don't think you're able to require acquire it. I mean, I haven't. Maybe it's an item you can acquire, but I've never acquired it, so... That's just my personal story with that. But now it's time to take on the second Kanto Gym in the post-game Nuzlocke. With only, like, three deaths so far in this series... It's not Jinx it, but there's only been three deaths so far. Isn't that amazing? How we've somehow only had deaths in one episode and the third death was in between episodes. Because I forgot that uh, healing my Pokemon in a Pokemon Center was a thing I could do. Aw, oh, thanks, man. You were a sailor, I thought you'd send out a Wingle or something. Or like a Pelipper. I knew you wouldn't send out a Wingle. That's dumb. Why at this stage of the game would the game decide to send out a Wingle? But now I can pedal dance. What's going on? I think my cats are freaking out. Oh, look at that. Luke is already higher level than everyone else. So, I think because I'm on pedal dance, it should just do it. Yep, there we go. This is rock type, so I thought, why not just stay out to Stevana? And look at that. That's a death. Ooh. I still could have killed it with Luke, but I decided... Let's just stay in with Stavana. Oh, that's going to hurt a little bit. It didn't hurt too much, actually. Oh, this is one where it, like, throws a wrench in my plans because I can't really deal with Kingdra that well. Um... You know who could deal with Kingdra that well? Lugia, if he still had Dragon Pulse. But I need a Pokemon with Surf, and none of the, my other Pokemon would learn it, so... I got Dragon Pulse on Riley. If I run into any Kingdra problems in Misty's battle, I know who to use. And is there another one? Oh yes, it's a Ludicolo. One of my all-time favorite Hoenn Pokemon. I love Ludicolo. He's so amazing. He's always happy all the time. You just need that Pokemon that's always happy all the time. Like, he never stops smiling. Tell me any moment where you've ever seen a Ludicolo not smile. I don't think you can name one. There may have been a moment in the anime, but I don't remember much of the Advanced Generation anime, because it's been a long time since I've seen it. I've only, like, recently watched Sun and Moon... And Pokemon Journeys, and that's it. And none of those, barely any of those episodes had Ludicolo in it. Only one did, and that episode sucked. That was the two-in-one episode with the 
Marsh stomping the ground in the Team Rocket dubbing. You know the one from Pokemon Journeys. That was just so terrible. Why did they think it was a good idea to do that? The Pikachu translation check, that was okay. That was pretty cool. But that second half of the story was just so dumb. It just, like, went from, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna save this Marsh Tomp. Oh, he got saved. Oh, shoot. He's in the ground again. Oh, darn. Where was this going? What did we learn? We learned that it was a waste of time. Oh yeah, there's Pokemon I know Missy's gonna have. She's gonna have a Gyarados, indeed. I'm like thinking of her Terra now. She's gonna have Gyarados because that's one of her signature Pokemon in the original games. Uh, she's gonna have Starmie because that's one of her signature Pokemon. She's gonna have Golduck, Quagsire, and then she needs two other Pokemon. Um, I'm not gonna go Slowking. I don't think she'll have Slowking. But, uh, I want to say Wishcash and Azumarill, because she does have an Azumarill in the anime now. Well, she did, it's kind of just disappeared now, but I'm going to say Azumarill and Wishcash. Just because I believe that they're going to give her the two of those ground and water types, so you can't, like, sweep this gym that easily with an electric type. Like, you'll have a bit of trouble. That's the team I'm thinking of. I have no clue, because I can't check. Which is one thing that scares me, because I don't know what the levels of these gyms are going to be. But, that's what I'm guessing. That's, like, my honest... I may be right, but I'm probably, like, at least... Uh, it's... What's... Four, six... I'm at least that much correct. I've at least got four of those correct. There's no way. She doesn't have the first four that I mentioned. I'm pretty sure those first four are actually on her team in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Uh, Gyarados, Quagsire, Golduck, and Starmie. No, 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 no. She's going to have Kingdra in there. I know she will. So, I think she's going to have Kingdra and not Wishcash. I think it's going to be Kingdra and not Wishcash. If I'm wrong... Well, that really sucks, because I banked everything on switching this choice. But I don't think she's going to have Wishcash. I think she'll have Kingdra. Because Kingdra is still a Pokemon that can really help with the grass type, what can really help with the electric type weakness, and even grass type Pokemon aren't super effective against it, so. Really, the only thing you can do there is just use Dragon. Bibarel, I'm gonna stay in. Yeah, she ain't gonna have a Bibarel. <laughs> no way she's gonna have a Bibarel. I did it! I'm the best. I already know which Pokemon are gonna get, like, overleveled in this episode. Oh, I'm confused. Oh, no. <clears throat> no, I wouldn't say she'd have a Float Soul. I'm sticking with the second guess that I made. Not the first one, because I don't think she'll have Wish Cash. I think she'll have King Dread instead of Wish Cash. But those first four that I did mention in that guess, I'm like guaranteeing are going to be on her gym team, and those other two are, like, very loose choices. No, she's going to have Corsola. I know she's going to. So I think it's going to be Corsola and Kingdra, then. No, because... Hold on. 
I think it's going to be Corsola and Azumarill then. So I think it's going to be choice number three, I guess. We're doing choice number three. It's going to be... Gyarados, Quagsire. Gyarados, Quagsire, Golduck. Oh, shoot, Seeking. There's so many Pokemon that are related to her. Gyarados, Quagsire, Golduck, Starmie, Azumarill, and Corsola. That's the team I'm guessing. Because I know she has a Corsola in the anime as well. In fact, I remember the specific Sun and Moon episode where she traumatized her Corsola by showing it the decapitated thorns, the amputated thorns of other Corsola. That happened. I think it was Alola, Alola. I think it was that episode where Misty and Brock went to Alola instead of the group going to Kanto. And they went to a shop and Misty just shoved the Corsola twig uh, necklaces in Corsola's face and traumatized her Corsola for life, probably. But hey, it's a kid show. Yay. Corsola probably has some trauma that it will never get over, but hey! Pikachu use Quick Attack. It's super effective. It's not like Pokemon anime is made me cry or anything. It's not like watching Stoutland die in front of Litten's eyes was sad or anything. It was depressing, okay? It was really upsetting. Okay. So now we're ready to fight the one and only Misty of the Kanto region for our second gym badge. Let's do this. I was expecting you, you pest. You may have a lot of Johto Gym Badges, but you'd better not take me too lightly. Now, Water Type I want are tough. It's our second Gym Battle of the Post Game Nuzlocke. What's our first Pokemon? I'm gonna guess it's Gyarados. Oh, it's a. Well, I'm not. She did have a Politoed. I should have thought about Politoed. Dang it. She did have a Politoed. I should have remembered that one. I bet she's gonna have like all the Pokemon she had then, so it'd be Politoed, Sea King, Corsola, Gyarados, Azumarill, and Golduck. I'm guessing that's gonna be your team then. So for my original guess, <laughs> gosh, I was wrong. I suck at this game. I was wrong again. Well, that's two guesses I was immediately wrong with. But hey, um, I was con I did say I was confident with at least four of my choices. So, I'm still confident. I don't think she had a shelter, did she? I don't think she'll have shelter. No, she didn't have shelter. Yes! I'm one for three! <laughs> That's not a good record, but still. It's better than not getting any right. Jeez, Luke gained two levels this episode? How? on the blade too. Okay, so I'm one for three. Can I be a two for three two for four? I'm going with my third choice, which had Corsola as a change. Dang it. I'm one for four. 
so it looks like those four weren't confident choices. I don't know why I thought... I don't know why I didn't think she'd have Lantern. Did Brock have Corsola? Because that might have changed my mind if Brock had Corsola. I think he had... Uh... Relicamp. Still going with Corsola. Gyarados, I know she's going to have... Almost every water gym leader has a Gyarados somewhere on their team. It's so iconic of a water gym leader Pokemon. I was right with Golduck. Two for five. Can I at least be 50% right? Please, can you give me that game? There's no way she doesn't have Gyarados. There's no way. If this isn't Gyarados, I'm going to be really upset. Are you kidding me? What's <laughs> Gyarados? Well, I got two right. I guess Starmie... And Golduck, right? But the rest of them, I was completely wrong. Why did she not have Gyarados? Gyarados is such an iconic water gym leader Pokemon. Maybe they want it to be too easy. Well, there we go. Completed! Looks like this is it. That sounds like something that she would say right as she went to her last Pokemon, but she didn't. You really are good. I'll admit that you are skilled. Here you go, it's the Cascade Badge. I got the second Kanto Gym Badge. Here is another memento from this battle. Take it. That's Bubble Beam, right? It's Water Pulse. Managed to defeat trainers all the way from Johto. I'm sure you have a good use for it. And just to make sure you aren't a pest, I'll give you my number. What? How does that confirm that I'm not a pest? I don't know. I don't know how that confirms that I'm not one, but I guess... I guess it works for me? Well, that's it for... Joey, what do you want? Hey, do you remember my Super Core Rattata? My Rattata's different from regular Rattata. I'm talking about Rattata's in the top percentage of Rattata. You know what I'm saying? No, no one ever knows what you're saying, Rattata, Joey. I will call him Rattata. No one knows what you're ever saying, Joey. Is this like the bike shop guy? Is he still closed? A long time ago, this cool boy rode my bike around and that started this entire bike room. Then I decided to open up Ranch in Golden Art City and they started selling like the wind. No one comes to this shop anymore because of that. All I have left here is a bicycle pump. Should I start selling inflatable tubes? Uh, it's, well, seeing as your city happens to deal a lot with water, I'd say that'd be a pretty cool option. You can go uh, ride inflatable tubes on the river, lazy river. That's an investment. So that's it for today's episode. Next time, I guess we'll head to Vermilion. Uh, dang it, I don't have Earthquake. But I need Earthquake. I might be able to learn Earth Power for the gym, but sadly... Because I think I have a heart scale somewhere. I think if I can relearn moves, or I can get Rock Smash, and then use the destroy the rocks, and they'll give me heart scales, and then I can. Because I think Earth Power was one of the moves that Nidoran knew, but it got rid of it, or that Nido King is supposed to learn that you can reteach it. Because it was supposed to learn at a certain level, but since I was still in Nidorino, it didn't learn. Because I wasn't ground type yet. So I'll probably try to do that in between episodes. I'm not going to do any training, because we don't need to. And that's it for today's episode. Next time, Vermilion City. And possibly Cer Cer not Cerulean, but Celadon. Because we might be able to do Celadon. I don't know how quick everything with Vermilion City will be. But I know we have to at least go and grab the 
uh, poke of the card so I can awaken Snorlax. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.